we're still long. We're still a little bit more overweight non-U.S. stocks compared to U.S. stocks, still underweight bonds. Not that crazy about real estate anymore because it's had a pretty good rally. But uh, I'm not saying we'll have another year like last. But it's possible like we could. Because Goldman Sachs says maybe we will. Yeah, I, I think that's a little optimistic, but right. I wouldn't rule it out. I think it's maybe a 30% or so chance that, that we do get another good year kind of similar like to this year. Like 25% or something. Right. But, but on the other hand, I think it's more likely that we, have, we fall back to a more muddle along. I mean, a lot of things went right this year. I think that the key is in earnings were much better than I expected them to be. And I've been watching earnings for 25 years, right. and this was really a, a genuine beat on earnings. And I think next year is going to be a pretty good earnings year, too. Uh, the forecasts are for about 12%, and usually the numbers come down. These numbers have been just dead flat. Right. So it looks like there's a lot of confidence <clears throat> that we're going to see another good earnings year next year. And yep. Valuations are high, but they're not nosebleeds. It doesn't look like we're going to have a recession. So, a couple uh, of good uh, sports analogies in there too. We may be in the fourth quarter. That's right. But you don't know whether it's at the two-minute warning of the end of the game or whether it's the beginning of the fourth quarter. I, I would say it's most likely the beginning of the fourth quarter. Okay. It's late in the cycle, but it's not at the not at the end of the cycle. And Ed talked about earnings being good again. Uh, and Lindsay, you you are looking at that in reference to tax reform, and you think tax reform does likely get done and is in the market in a big way right now and would help it again if it goes through. Right. And I think I think it's that's the important distinction is it's in the stock market prices, but it's not in the earnings numbers. And that's important to so understand. So that could give another boost to stock prices. Exactly. We think that you could see about a nine or 10 percent boost to the current uh, consensus estimate for 2018. We're looking for 10.6 percent growth. We get tax reform early in the year and you could get closer to 19 percent growth in the S&P 500. Wow. And, and that's big. But, but at the same, so you could get additional uh, movement in the stock market. But if it doesn't happen, there is a lot already priced in, and, and you'd have to there, give back something. Yeah, the 20% corporate tax rate is absolutely priced into the market right now. Like I said, if we get that 9% upside in earnings per share, that gets us to a multiple about 16.8 times on the S&P 500, which is about in line with the historical average. If we don't get it, we could see a pullback as much as 10% to get us back to fair valuations. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.